Welcome. So this question says, let's get this right. This question says a spring and block system oscillates with SHM. That means simple harmonic motion. It's the kind of oscillation you get with a spring system. Um, the block is moved five meters from its equilibrium position. So let's just picture this. So here's our, here's our table and here's a, like a bulkhead. And then we have our spring and we have a block and we're going to say it's an, a perfectly smooth table. And what we do is we pull this block oh, five meters to the right. So this is five meters. If I can squeeze it in there from there to there. We move the block five meters from the equilibrium position. The block is released and the system has an angular frequency. So now I'm going to draw a graph. I'm going to draw a graph of time downwards. I'm going to say, well, the block starts off here at time t equals zero, and then it oscillates backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. This here is small. <laughs> Sometimes the pen <laughs> gives up <laughs> and, uh, and decides it doesn't want to show something. So if you like, this is x along here, and this is position, and this is time, sorry. So because we moved it, in this case, to the right, and then we let it go, we know that it never has a bigger displacement than this five meters. Um, it says it oscillates with a natural frequency, or in this case, an angular frequency of two radians per second. So the oscillation rate is two radians per second. And then what is the velocity of the block, 1.7 seconds after the block is released. I have no idea where that is, but I can assume, uh, let me just, I'm going to picture that that is somewhere like this. And so I'm trying to find how, how much is the velocity and what direction is the velocity at a given position. So I've gone 1.7 seconds down the vertical uh, time axis and this is where my block is and what's its velocity. That's just a schematic. I don't know if that's the right answer or not. Uh, okay, so let's make, make a list of what we know. Well, let's have a look. Well, the first thing we know is this maximum displacement is five meters and your maximum displacement is called your amplitude. So that would be plus five meters. And then the next thing you know is that the angular frequency and that's the symbol omega is equal to two radians per second. And then the next thing I know is that the time of interest t is equal to 1.7 seconds. And I want to find my velocity, the velocity of the block at that particular instant in time. I need to think of an equation that will give me the right answer. And the first one that comes to mind is the displacement equation x is equal to a cosine omega t. And we derived that in class. Um, if I want to find my velocity, my velocity which equals dx by dt is equal to minus a omega sine omega t. And if I was to differentiate again, so my acceleration is equal to dv by dt, that would equal minus a omega squared cosine omega t. Now why do I write all three of those down? Well, because I want to reinforce them. I'm not going to use all three of them, I'm going to use the one that's appropriate for this problem. And the one that's appropriate for this problem, or the velocity, so the one that's appropriate for this problem is that v is equal to dx by dt, which equals minus a omega sine omega t. And I like to do as little in my head as possible, so I'm going to just go step by step and say my a is 5, and my omega is 2, and then I have a sine, and then my omega is 2, and my t is 1.7. So then I'm going to say, well, OK, that's equal to minus 10 sine 
3.4. Now, here's an important point. Um, this angle is radians per second multiplied by seconds, so it's in radians. So that means that your calculator has to be in radians. So you need to change the mode of your calculator. If you try and use degrees, you're going to get completely the wrong answer. And so what I get is minus, minus 2.555, 2.555 meters per second. So V is equal to plus 2.55 meters per second. So there we have it. My, I don't know if you can hear it, my printer's going crazy in the background because it's, it's uh, checking itself out. Um, so we have plus 2.5 meters per second, which is the right answer. If you had stayed in degrees, then you would have got minus 0 0.59 meters per second. Um, so do, just be careful in all of this work. Uh, you need to be careful about are you in degrees or are you in radians. And use that logic. If I, if I use radians per second to make the angle, then clearly my angle is in radians. So there we have it.